Welcome back again. And today we're going to explore Raleigh and luckily there's coffee. Let's go get some. All right, so once again, we've broken this video down into chapters. So feel free to go ahead and find something that you like below. Now, Raleigh has definitely become more popular. We see it as people come to visit and as we see more and more people moving here every single day. As we film right now, Raleigh is the hottest housing market in the entire country. And with high tech jobs moving in, well paying jobs, and amazingly compared to other metropolitan markets, our price per square foot for a home is still a bargain. And I'm here on Fayetteville Street, which was revived in 2006 to update it and make it a drivable street again. It was a pedestrian mall and was really not the center of downtown. But don't worry, pedestrians were not forgotten as the large sidewalks and the little courtyards along the way allow plenty of space for walking and special events to take place. Speaking of those special events, this is where many of them happen, from beer festivals to bluegrass, which routinely shut the street down and pack it out. And just down the way is the North Carolina State Capitol building, where we're at right now, it was built in 1840. This historic building is a must-see for anyone visiting Raleigh. It's been the home to the state legislature for over 170 years, and we can walk across the street from here and get to the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. One of the most popular museums in Raleigh, this venue features a variety of exhibits and interactive displays that showcase the natural world. This is a great place to take your kids to explore the different ecosystems of North Carolina, see dinosaurs, and if your timing is right, even visit the butterfly room. And speaking of the kids and things to do in Raleigh, we have some of the most wonderful parks, maybe some of the best in the entire triangle. Pullen Park. Pullen Park is a beautiful park located right next to NC State University and features a lake, a carousel, a train that the kids can ride, which is a family favorite of ours, and paddle boats. It is the perfect place for a family day out, a romantic picnic, or a relaxing stroll. And then there's Dick's Park. Dick's is the 300 acre site that blends historic architecture and rich landscapes into a unique destination in the heart of Raleigh. It's where the 4th of July fireworks are held and they have an annual sunflower field. You can learn more about the Dick's Park renovations and all going on there here. Then we have William Umstead State Park and this is an incredible park. It features over 5,500 acres of natural beauty with hiking trails, fishing spots, and picnic areas. You truly feel like you're in the mountains. It is the perfect place to escape from the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy the great outdoors. And not to be forgotten is the North Carolina Museum of Art. This museum features a wide range of art, including works by fa famous artists like Monet, Rodin, and Matisse. It also has a beautiful outdoor sculpture garden, large fields that are connected directly to the Greenway system, and one of the most popular events for the kiddos, it does movies in the park in the summer months with outdoor movies. With NC State, Duke, and UNC Chapel Hill, go pack. Just down the way, there is a large, diverse population in Raleigh, and that vibe can be felt around the city and the food. Let's talk about some of our favorite restaurants. First up is Brewery Bahavana, which is a unique restaurant that combines a brewery, a dim sum restaurant, a bookstore, and a flower shop all in one. It is known for its delicious dumplings, craft beer, and its beautiful ambiance. Next up is Death and Taxes, which is probably the most upscale restaurant on this list, and it offers a modern take on a classic Southern cuisine. It is known for the wood-fired dishes, craft cocktails, and it is a beautifully decorated restaurant. A personal favorite of mine, Bita Manda. This restaurant is a favorite among locals and tourists alike. It's known for its flavorful noodle dishes, crispy pork belly. My favorite is the curry and refreshing cocktails. Next up, if you're gonna go to Red Hat Amphitheater, a great place to check out beforehand is Pool's Diner, which is a retro style diner that serves up comfort food with a modern twist. It's known for its world famous mac and cheese, 
fried chicken and seasonal cocktails. Another great one, one of my favorites for brunch is City, where we're at right now. This Lebanese restaurant is a favorite amongst foodies in Raleigh. It is known for its delicious mez plates, grilled kebabs, and refreshing cocktails. Do you notice everybody on our list has refreshing cocktails? All right, next up is the tourist trap of the day, Cowfish Sushi and Burger Bar. This restaurant offers a unique fusion of sushi and burgers. It's known for its creative sushi rolls, juicy burgers, and fun atmosphere. Last, Beasley's Chicken and Honey. If you wanna have brunch at Beasley Chicken and Honey on a weekend, you better show up early. This casual eatery serves up delicious fried chicken and southern comfort food. It is known for its crispy chicken sandwiches, mac and cheese, and biscuits with honey butter. And by the way, this is honestly just a tip of the iceberg of restaurants that are out there. There's a ton of different places in Raleigh, and we're really just hitting the highlights right now. The best part is, is there's just a ton of diversity in the food. If you're looking for Italian, we have that. Southern comfort, we have that. Asian, we have it. We have it all, and we're so lucky to live in a city that does. All right, so let's talk about things to do here in the Raleigh area and things that can get you out of the house and are a lot of fun and really well known in Raleigh. First up is gonna be the Raleigh Farmer's Market, which I know it sounds funny to go to the Farmer's Market as a thing to do for fun, but actually on a weekend, it's an awesome place. It's right next to Dick's Park, and the market offers fresh produce, baked goods, and other locally made products. It's a great place to find unique gifts, sample local food, and experience all of the vibrant culture of Raleigh. Then we also have PNC Arena. It's the home of the Carolina Hurricanes, our NHL team, and hosts many other events throughout the year. We have Red Hat Amphitheater, where we're at right now. Of course, we've talked about previously that Red Hat could potentially be moved. You can learn about that here. But this is another concert location in the heart of downtown Raleigh. It holds a ton of concerts from local all the way to national acts. It's one of the larger outdoor venues in Raleigh. But Raleigh has a vibrant music and concert scene with several clubs and different concert venues to go to. All right, and so it wouldn't be us if we didn't talk about beer and especially local beer. That is not only so exciting here in Raleigh, but in North Carolina in general. Tons of amazing breweries call Raleigh home, and these are often upscale places to hang out after work or even catch up, as many have events and host local activities that benefit the community. So here's a few to check out. The Raleigh Beer Garden. This is the world's largest beer garden with over 350 beers on tap. It's a popular spot for beer enthusiasts and offers a unique atmosphere where visitors can enjoy a drink in the open air. Another exciting one is Crank Arm, which is filled with bikes and it's a really cool spot to kind of hang out right in the heart of Raleigh. And then a personal favorite of ours is Trophy. Trophy has a couple different locations. We're here at the one in the Kara Lee neighborhood. Trophy was one of the first breweries to kind of get the show started for craft beer in Raleigh. And they have a great pizza restaurant as well. And there really are just tons of breweries. Honestly, the list is kind of overwhelming and there's no way we could hit them all. Maybe one day we'll do a video on all the different brewery options in town. But maybe you just want to drive through and learn some more about some of the neighborhoods in Raleigh. A few great ones to check out would be Boylan Heights or Oakwood, both of which we have covered and are fun places to live or drive through and just see the exciting neighborhoods. Much different than a carrier apex, there's a lot to do Raleigh and maybe not so much. There's some Southern charm and if it's a little more quiet than some of the larger cities, you won't get stuck in a traffic jam at 3 a.m. like you would in LA or have the tourist rush on the weekends like NYC. But maybe that's the charm that's bringing folks to Raleigh and makes Raleigh so attractive. There's stuff to do when you want, but you can get out of the city easily when needed. Maybe it's the weather, like a beautiful day today. It's not too cold in the winter and we have warm summers and there are truly four seasons. Three hours to the beach or the mountains, you just really can't beat that while living in a big city. Raleigh is within reach of a variety of things to do and is a wonderful place to live. All right, so we hope you've enjoyed this video of exploring Raleigh. 
And if you want to learn more about other communities or information and news stories affecting the Raleigh real estate market, be sure to subscribe to our video channel here. It really helps us out and it keeps you up to date. And by the way, if you or someone you know is considering a move to or within the Raleigh area, our team of real estate experts would love to be of assistance. Whether you're buying, selling, or building, we're here to help you.